Hey guys, welcome to Morocco. I can't even believe I'm saying that because I can't even believe I'm here. This is crazy. It's been somewhere I've wanted to come for so long. I have actually been before because my aunt and uncle got married here, but that was a while ago. And all I really remember from that trip is like dancing with my aunt at her wedding dancing with my uncle and I remember like the fun bits of the wedding but I, I don't actually remember sorry I'm so excited that I'm talking so fast but I don't actually remember seeing Morocco right now I'm in the hotel I'm just on my little terrace as you can see so today's agenda is to go to the Jardin Majorelle like how embarrassing is my French accent sorry <laughs> if I just offended you but it is actually a botanical garden and it was previously owned by Yves Saint Laurent himself so I'm so excited because I looked up the geo tag on Instagram which is what I do when I get really excited about going places and it just looks so beautiful it's apparently a 12 acre garden and Yves Saint Laurent ashes that was quite hard to say Yves Saint Laurent's ashes were actually sprinkled in the garden it looks so out of this world amazing so I cannot wait to share it with you guys and I'm wearing a beautiful little white dress for the occasion but I'll show you that properly in a minute and actually now what time is it it is 10 to 3 so we need to get going First impression of the garden, look at it. Look up, like look at the bright colours. And if you look up, it's crazy. It's like covered, like absolutely everywhere. seriously on but when I looked up everything on Instagram this was what you see the colors are like so vibrant and blue and yellow like look at that yellow it is literally insane it's like something out of a film set or something like just look at that it's, it's just not real is it so I'm gonna keep exploring <laughs> I'm so sweaty guys you can, honestly no one would want to hug me right now Guys, when you see my blog post from the Jardin Majorel, just know that I was sweating this much. I mean, I may look really glowy in the pics, but I promise you that's really not what was happening in real life. Wow, okay, it's the evening and we are all headed to the Cesar. I think I'm saying it right, or Cesar? Is that how I say it? I'm not really sure. I'll let you guys know when we're there. And everyone's all dressed up, ready to roll. I want to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this The Love and Lemons dress. It's from ASOS. I bought it really recently, so I'll try and find a link and link it below. There's a freaking sandstorm. Oh dear. We just got to the Cesar. Look at all these cuties with giant C's on them. The Clinique. Wow, it looks so beautiful here. Hello, Mr. Camel. Mr. Camel. <laughs> Hello, Camel. Where does it like being touched? Whereabouts is it like? Here? <laughs> Are you ready to party? <laughs> party Moroccan style. What were you doing with your tongue? Oh my god! That is crazy! Amazing! High five! <laughs> High five! Like this. No, no, like this. High five. Oh. <laughs> I was like, high five, and she started doing it again. And then I was just like, awkwardly like, in the air, like, pump in. Lydia is filming my outfit tonight. Thank you, Lydia. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my dress, which is from Love and Lemons, which I bought recently. I have my Valentino shoes, but I thought you can't really even see them. <laughs> Gucci bag, and that's it. Cheers. We 
are literally in the most stunning location. Oh my gosh, there's a pool over there. It is so gorgeous here. They've done it all Moroccan themed. Wow, wow, look at this beautiful place. Oh my goodness, this is not real. She's got the skills. She, she's got the skills. She is gold. My best attempt at trying to dance like my mom. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm showing Lydia what the men normally do. Like, this is what my dad does with my mom's dancing. He gets down on one knee and just claps. playing all the best songs and we're just having the best time dancing in the rain because sometimes you gotta do that actually you just always gotta do that Dancing folks are on their way to bed. <laughs> All danced out. <laughs> Good morning. I'm coming at you from the middle of the desert, basically. It is completely open right now. I'm just watching the boys who are ready to go quad biking. And it was a bit of a late start this morning because we just had so much fun last night. If you guys would have seen my Snapchat, I was just crazy dancing in the rain. <laughs> Sometimes, actually all the time, you just should dance in the rain because it just, it's honestly the best. And actually I had so many comments on Snapchat saying like, I didn't know you knew the Arabic songs or did like Arabic dancing. And uh, my Arabic dancing probably like puts my mum to shame, but my mum's side of the family is from the Middle East, so that's why I know like all the songs. The boys are ready for their quad biking session, getting a little lesson, and I think we're gonna meet them somewhere over there for a tea break. Roxy's got the most insane headscarf on. I feel so traditional. You look amazing and I've been such a party pooper because I want to hide my face from the sun. <laughs> so I'm wearing this giant hat. Hello, mister. Hello. Hello. We're all ready to roll. We're all on the camels. Amazing. Camel toes. I've been studying on our camel ride and I've been studying the camel the way they chew. Okay, this is gonna be my impression of a camel chewing. Because their bottom lip like does this and then their eyes are closed and they chew like in a circle. And then, that. And then you hear the noise like <laughs> Okay, <laughs> enough of that now. <laughs> that would be normal. I wanted to actually film this guy doing it because he was just chewing, but Typical, as soon as I get my camera out, he's like, I'm done chewing. You done. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 
it. Hisham, thank you so much. Perfect. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's literally amazing. Oh God, you just are. made that. Wow. Oh my gosh, look. It's oh. a camel. That is literally amazing. We're all sitting down now, all calm, to have some green tea. Okay, we're gonna try some the salmon. salmon. Make you fat. The salmon. <laughs> That's what it means. What? Does the salmon mean it makes you fat? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that is so funny. Cheers, guys. Guys, it's been a little while since I saw you because going back from the camels was so hot and sweaty that I washed my hair and regrouped, redid my makeup. I'm actually wearing one of the new Clinique um, lipsticks on my lips tonight. It's called Coral Pop. But we're on the way with a tour guide to go to the soups, and I'm so excited. Apparently, there are over 6,000 shops. That is the mosque, guys. And apparently, it's the highest building in Marrakesh. Beginning of the souk. Crazy. Wow, look how amazing. We are officially in the most beautiful shop on planet. It is so gorgeous in here. Look at this, like how gorgeous is that chest of drawers? It's just so detailed and beautiful. Things like this in magazines, in fantastic yeah. palaces and hotels. And, that and is this is just like the, work of the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. You know when you put a child in front of the TV for the first time and their jaw just goes and then they walk around like that or like they're there and you just want to go, that is me right now. I keep walking around and then I catch myself and my face is like, because <laughs> it's just so beautiful and so overwhelming and everything is so gorgeous and detailed. Our tour guide has kindly shown us, taken us to the places in the souk that are less touristy so in the beginning it was like really hectic and now it's just kind of full of locals and it's much calmer can we just take note that these spices are like in a perfect cone shape every single one that is crazy Guys, we are all bargaining all over the place and I'm feeling spendy rockin' edition and so far I have a gift for my mom and a gift for my sister. When I told Hannah I was going to the souk, she was like, please, 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 get me a school bag, get me a school bag. So, I'll show you when I'm back. Good morning, guys. It's such a sad morning this morning because it's the last morning in Marrakesh. And honestly, I'm not ready to go. It's been so amazing. It's been so, so amazing. And yesterday was such an overwhelming, unbelievable, unreal whirlwind. And between like the camels and the souk, oh my gosh, I am honestly so grateful to be able to experience and appreciate different cultures and just really like throw myself in there and like get lost in a completely different world. I know I also said I would show you what I got from the market and I got this little bag from my sister which she said please 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 get me a straw bag. So this is what I got her because I thought it was quite roomy but still a cute little size. And my mum every morning uses a tray like this to have her breakfast. She has like three cups of tea and then a bowl of eggs and a bowl of fruit. So I thought this would be a really nice present for her. Before I went, I had to show you guys the gorgeous spa here at La Mamounia. 
because it is actually out of this world, isn't it? Oh, let's just take a moment, deep breath with me, and exhale. <laughs> Really, every corner of this hotel is more and more beautiful. This was the other thing I wanted to show you guys, this room next to the lobby, because it is unlike anything I've ever seen before in my life. Let's just take another moment. I've done so many blog posts while I'm out here of like outfits, all the new Clinique products and everything, so I'll link the blog posts below. And that's gonna be a wrap for this blog. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to Clinique for this out of this world experience. I'm so, so, so grateful and so appreciative. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Ooh, now I'm yellow and before I was red. Anyway, sorry about my camera situation. <laughs> Bye guys.